I am Balthazar Soulier. I am a conservator, restorer and expert of fine old string instruments based in Paris. I am very excited to capture today two of the most iconic violins of history using bone color lighting. Six years ago, I found Atelier Cells in Paris, an innovative company that focuses on the documentation, conservation and expertise of rare historical instruments. We quickly became recognized actors of the scientific examinations of violins. We use high-resolution digital photography specially to monitor the violin condition before and after conservation treatments. High-quality photography provides essential information on the shape, the motif, texture and colors of the surfaces. Coupled with UV illumination, photography allows to precisely document contamination. In the cultural heritage field, fidelity and reproducibility are the most important claims when taking photographs. One should avoid any image retouches and we therefore need excellent light quality. To achieve high reproducibility, we need lighting equipment that gives a constant power output and color temperature. This is why we work for many years with Broncolor. Violins represent a real challenge for color photography. The range of colors is extremely subtle, from yellow-orange to transparent red tones. It is a three-dimensional wooden object covered with shiny transparent layers that produces disturbing reflections. In addition, the motif of the wood changes depending on the light direction. Micro details and color nuances are essential to characterize a particular feature of the maker's technique and to detect minor alterations. It's important to produce extremely sharp images over a large depth of field while avoiding distortion and parasite reflections. Precise and reproducible photos are crucial to identify and monitor possible changes after a period of playing an instrument. The first instrument we will be shooting was made by Antonio Stradivari in Cremona in 1718. This particular instrument belonged to the so-called golden period of Stradivarius. The second instrument is probably even more unique. It is one of the rare violins from Giuseppe Guarneri del Gesù. This violin is from 1744, the final year of his short life. It is named after the French violinist Prosper Saint-On, who owned and played this violin in the 19th century. This violin has been remarkably preserved over the last centuries. Our lighting setup consists of eight lamps powered by three scroll power packs. This provides us with the power and consistency we need for the shooting of historical violins. Additionally, we use UV attachment to obtain fluorescence images with the same lamps. It is great to be able to control all our lights from the computer using the Brown Control app. It allows us not only to save time, but also to avoid unnecessary movements around the instrument. We will now be testing for the first time reflectance transformation imaging on the Stradivarius. It is an imaging method that allows to visualize the surface by modifying the incidence of light. Using the Broncoloscope T50, we can easily apply this technology to instruments. By modifying the light angle, the changing figures of the wood can be revealed. The light can be moved virtually. It is now possible to feel the blinking effects of the flames. It opens an inspiring dimension of digitization. The Scorp D50 allows a larger audience to interact with this unique violin as if it were in their hands. As conservators, we have the responsibility to apply the most precise imaging techniques in order to give the best testimonials of these unique cultural heritage objects for the next generations.